everyone. Thank you for joining me on the Her Story podcast. And today I am joined by another amazing business owner. This is Bianca from Barking with Bianca. And she is also, not only does she have an amazing business, but she is also the winner last year um, for the 2022 Alibi Awards, Overcoming the Odds. And I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks, Kylie, for having me. Hi, everyone. So can you tell everyone a bit about yourself and your business? Okay, so I'm Bianca from Barking with Bianca. Barking with Bianca is dog training, doggy daycare, pet sitting service. And we started five years ago. So I started five years ago. I started up my little business and it's been amazing. The journey has been amazing and I'm very, I'm very happy and, and proud of where I've come from and just being able to share my story today, you'll be able to hear some of the things that I've overcome. Um, and yes, Kylie, um, I did win the 2020 Alibi Overcoming the Odds Awards, which again was something that, you know, I thought, wow, like I, I couldn't have believed that I achieved it, but, you know, I gave it a go. I I went in, I I just thought, you know, you know what you got to be in it and 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 I did I gave it a, a good old crack and 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 I was just amazed with with the outcome and amazed with everything so it was great it was a good night actually the alibi awards night was really good I was really um I loved it we all got dressed up nice and fancy and it was good to be able to celebrate everyone and be able to celebrate e each other's achievements um so that was really good yeah and just between me you and the podcast listeners like the the alibi trophy is the coolest trophy out of all because you've won a oh, few awards now you've got a few awards yeah under, yeah our trophy so, is so the I, coolest. I have a few awards um I'm a multi-award winning business and the alibi trophy by far the best, the best trophy out there. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And my one is standing proud, you know, on display for, for people to see when, when they come in. You know, again, my alibi is the main focus. The other awards are all around it. <laughs> Hopefully um, none of those other so, award so people yeah. are listening. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so um, as Kylie mentioned, I do have a few other awards and, little awards um you know local business awards and, and other achievement awards as well so yeah so it, it's it's nice it's nice to be able to you know put my achievements up and to be able to tell people and to be able to tell people where I came from to where I am now and and I feel re extremely proud to be able to have those awards on display so you're all about you mentioned that you started your little business about five years ago what made you start it like what was the thing for you that went you know what I want to be a crazy business owner because being a business owner is hard. So what it's, made you go, I want to do this and I want to play with dogs all day? Yeah. So I was in a previously before I ran my business, I was in early childhood background and it it became a little bit of a um, toxic environment. And I decided that it was time to to move on and, and do the next chapter of my journey. And so I, I, I started doing a little bit of dog walking for, for a lady in Sydney. And then I thought to myself, well, surely it can't be that hard. And I didn't know much about business, but I thought I've got to give it a go to actually figure out if that's what I wanted to do or not. And everybody told me, don't do it. You're not capable of doing it. You can't do it. You'll never make it. Um, I was told that, you know, I'd never be a, be a successful business person and I'm just going to give it a go and, and let's see what happens. And so I've, I, since, since the beginning to now, I look back and I just think, wow, the, all the achievements I've made and the, the growth as a person and learning so much and being supported by so many wonderful business women around me has made me grow stronger as a person. And it, it was it was just something to be able to give back to the community and this is something that I love and I wanted to see how it would turn out. And being a person with a disability, again, I was told that I would never make it and I, I really just put my head down and I tried as best as I could. I got out there in the community, did my networking, creating relationships with wonderful ladies in business. Hear who I am and to 
have faith in me and be there for me. And by creating all these relationships and getting out there in the, in the community, talking to people, I've actually grown a lot as a person and I'm growing a lot as a business person as well and learnt so much doing this on my own. So proud of the woman that I am today and so proud of the woman that I've become through my business journey. That's awesome. That's fantastic. So what is your like biggest achievement so far as a business owner? So as a business owner, my biggest achievement is creating my business, um, creating a successful business that's been running now for five years and, and, and building those relationships with the clients um, and just seeing the, the success happen. You know, little like I've just created little small goals that I've looked look, look back and I've gone, wow, you know, I've been able to create a website. I've been able to become a, a mentor for, for women in business. I've been able to work you know, in the community, being able to be a role model, being able to be a role model for the youth and the children of, of, the, of the communities. That's the success that I love and I can see and I feel that it's quite important to be able to have those, you know, role models and little people that you can connect with because that becomes a part of your business and becomes you as well. And that's what I really love the fact of how I've created this business is I'm a very, very creative person and, and I, and I've just taken all the creativity and I've put it all through my business and, and I can just see it and it's just amazing. And I just feel amazing because of it and just being able to help people, educate people, being able to make people feel better about their situation, you know, sometimes help those disadvantaged and those that in need of, you know, assistance and things like that. And that's, that's just something that I think is quite unique in business land. And, um, and I think that, you know, it takes a very special person to do something like that. So I do consider myself quite special and unique as a person. And I feel that that has been the main success of the business. You're very special and unique as a person too. <laughs> I think your business is um, very special and unique and you have, you do so many things out in the community and different groups. Like I swear I see you everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. I see photos. I'm like, who's this on this page? What's Bianca doing there? So that's awesome. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest challenge so far in business? I guess challenge, my biggest challenge would probably be learning like some of the policies you know, your bookkeeping, your bookwork, um, getting to learn a little bit more about that business background has been my main challenge being this because I, I struggle a little bit with all that kind of stuff. And I think, but as I've developed my business, it's getting a lot easier because it's, I'm, I'm learning as I go and, you know, I, I didn't actually have to physically sit down and you know do some do like a, a a specific degree to be able to understand how it works so that, that's been the main challenge and I say to people you know I, I'm finding that it's just sort of flowing as I develop and learn a lot more and then um the support that I'm getting actually has helped me a lot as well so that's what I found most challenging so with business and being a business over, you have challenges and you have achievements and you've had both on both ends. What would you say has been, what keeps you going? What is it that you absolutely love about your business that keeps you going through the challenges and the achievements? So you just don't chuck the towel in and go, screw this, I'm going back to work. <laughs> Not bad enough. Um, I guess, you know, the passion behind it, but also I get up every morning loving exactly what I do every single day, no matter what day it is, no matter if it's a Monday, Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, I get up and I love it because I love being able to get out there, get my hands dirty, work with those animals, be able to assist them and help them see the space. And that now if by that happening, I know that I've done my job, but I absolutely adore it so much and love it that nothing will probably really stop me that much from getting up and trying to get on with my day and do what I need to do. Sometimes the weather might, might stop me <laughs> if it's raining, but, <laughs> but you know, 
it, it, you know, I get up and, you know, and, and, and I've noticed, in, especially in the last couple of years, more than the, so, so the, the beginning of it, I've noticed that people are really on connection and, you know, to the point where they open up a lot to me and, and I, that's what I wanted to create. I wanted to create a safe space for them to open up to me and be able to say, Bianca, I'm just having a bit of trouble. I'm just not feeling it today. What can I do, you know, to make me feel a bit better? What can I do for my pet to feel a bit more calmer? And so I've noticed lately that I've been doing a lot of, you know, talking to clients and just sitting down with them. And that's been what they want. And that's been um, amazing because it just goes to show you that this everyday little girl has become something that is just very precious in, in the community and is needed, is, is something that, that is needed. So, yeah. I think it's super important to, um, you know, with your clients, it's not just seeing them as like a dollar sign or that they're a sale. It's actually growing that relationship with them and saying, hey, you know, as long as boundaries are there, do you know what I mean? Like you don't want them rocking up at your house at 10 o'clock at night or ringing you, (laughs) but to know that they can go, you know what? I am having a bit of issue with my dog or the way I'm interacting. I think the energy is setting him off um, and that they can come to you is a real, it's really beautiful. Yeah. And, and I, and I am very professional. I do put that line up between, you know, um, so that they don't rock up at my house at 10 o'clock in the night. But I think because I am so professional, I think that's what they like so much and, and they just feel safe and trusted and then they just keep coming back. So that's beautiful. Good job. Good on you, smashing it, smashing it every angle. Okay, what is some advice you wish you were given when you started your business? Now, I know you said a lot of people, um, they said a lot of negative stuff, but is there anyone that you just wish had given you some practical advice that would have been helpful when you started your business journey? Yeah, I think for the people around me, um, like, like the close people around me, I think if they had just, you know, said, you know what, Bianca? give it a go, see what happens. You know, we're going to be here either way. We'll support you no matter what happens. So I think if that was given to me, I think I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't have felt so, so I guess unsure in the beginning, but so, so yeah, so that, that's probably the the best sort of thing that I would have liked to have happened. And I guess gaining a little bit more about how things sort of run a little bit in business Maybe something that that might, might have been something that I could have, you know, get get got some advice in. But I think that would have been the main part of it. If I had that build up that behind me to say, yeah, you know what, what happens? We're going to be here. We're going to support you. You're going to do great. We can see. We can see that this is is going to, you know, we can see you're trying. We can see that that it might be something that might develop. I think that'll be like. I think the words would have really helped me along more than anything so I think if the words were, were really good and positive and nice I think that would have been the main thing think of how far you'd go then if that's all you needed was some words of encouragement <laughs> and I think this is why <laughs> groups are so important especially like Australian ladies in business <clears throat> because if you need that's there's always there to cheat someone to cheer you on even when you met put a post in the group I'm having a shit day or I wore, I showed up to an interview with my top inside out there's always somewhere to go it's okay. You're still doing a good job or we've all done that. Like I showed up wearing the wrong shoes, like having that chance to give those words of encouragement and share that you aren't the only one is why communities such as ours are so important. So. Yeah. And I think too, like, you know, we're all, we're all very similar. We're all going through similar things. We're, we've all, you know, like I wake up and I have a crap day too, you know, but like, I just, I just go work to just, you know, maybe put a, a little post of encouragement to try and get people to, you know, reach out and things like that. So um, we're all very similar in in different ways and I think I, I can see that quite clearly, especially in the last year that you know we're we're all very very similar and we all we all live we're all living our lives you know and we and we're tired we are all tired as well you know like i i don't have a family or kids but like hours in in the morning you know we've all done done it we've all we're all helping each other we're all encouraging us so yeah 
Mm. Well, that's it. And I think because we were locked down for COVID for so long, which wasn't helpful. And then it was like, okay, we're all free. And then we've all come rushing out the gates. And now we're all like, oh, crap, I'm really tired. Yeah. All, as you said, we're all in the same boat. No matter what that boat looks like, they may be different, but we're all in a boat just trying to, to get by and to float to the destination. And speaking about the destination, what is your ultimate goal for your business? I mean, like, yeah. a big, very scary goal. What's that for you? <laughs> um, <laughs> I think, look, I actually, the end goal, like, well, the big, big goal, I guess I would really like to be that that big that mentor that big mentor that people look up to that that you know that all communities look up to that all children and the youth you know look up to and you know maybe even like try and get into a little bit of media and try and get a media role just to be able to raise awareness and to show people you know this is what you can do this is what you this is what you can achieve and um just be i think more is just be that that mentor and that role model more than anything so yeah so if you have advice for anyone else in business, anyone that's thinking about it, anyone that's hesitating, if anyone that's ready to start their business, what's a bit of advice that you would give them? I would say go for it. Don't be scared. Give it a go. Try it out. And I would say reach out to those um, around you in, in your support network groups because that's what's going to build you up and is going and is going to help you along the way cool so just on a side note before we end so are you entering the alibi awards this year um (laughs) i i'm thinking about it i'm thinking maybe going for um the lady of the year the the alibi lady of the year um that's what i'm thinking of doing i'm still i'm still i'm still thinking about it but i think that's what I'm going to be putting myself in for. And I, and I will be nominating myself and putting myself into the awards because I feel that I can, I can do it. I can give it a go. I can be a part of it, you know, um, and it will be a great experience even if I don't win. And I think if I can get that award, I think that would be an amazing goal. But if I don't get that, the, that award, I'll be, I'll be able to, to, to see myself up against other ladies that, that feel that they're uh, eligible for that award as well for that that uh, late lady award. So yeah, that's that's what um, what I'm thinking at this stage. I think you brought up a very good point about nominating yourself too. Like when we go into business, we go into business ourselves. We put it out there. But when we want to show ourselves any recognition or celebrate our business, we tend to hold back and wait for other people to nominate us. And the thing is, is that. If you wait for someone else to notice that you're amazing or wait for someone else to nominate you, you could miss out on all of these opportunities. And I would hate to see that happen because there's so many amazing business women out there doing amazing things, but because they don't want to step up confidently and say, you know what, I want this award and I'm going to nominate myself for it. They're missing out on potential opportunities that could come from it. So thank you so much for bringing up the point where you're like, I'm nominating myself and I'm going for the big one because I think, One, that's awesome. And two, you know what? You're going to have like, you could potentially have another crystal trophy to join your crystal trophy pile. Yeah. You know, the ones that are better than all the other trophies. That's true. <laughs> I think I think that I, I, the point I would like, I would want to raise is that don't be scared because, you know, like it's going to be an amazing opportunity anyway. And, you know, like you've got to be out there and, you, and you've got to be able to, you know, put yourself in the, these these positions to to be able to gain a trophy you know like and and even if you don't if even if you walk away without a trophy you're still a winner at the end of the day no matter what because you've achieved so much and you've come so far and you've done so much and you know even by even just by entering the awards you're a winner you know so i just think go for it just give it a go. You never know. That's it. So if we want to come and stalk you, where do we find <laughs> you? So you can find me on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, under Barking with Bianca. We also have a website as well, barkingwithbianca.com. So definitely go on there, have a look, see what we're all about. Reach out, reach out to us if you need some 
some any advice, but that's definitely where you can find us. Cool. Is there anything else you'd like to share before we wrap up the conversation? Look, I definitely just think, you know, give it a go, try, and you never know what will come if you decide to create your own business. Um, I think, you know, if you're passionate about something, you never know where where it's going to end up. That's exactly right. And sometimes the journey is more fun than the destination. Exactly right. Exactly right. All right. So, well, thank you so much for your time, Bianca. Thank you for jumping on and doing this interview with me while you're out having fun with the puppies. And <laughs> yeah, I hope to see you again. Anyone else that's watching, go and stalk Bianca. Go give her some love. Go reach out and talk to her. Maybe ask her how she got her trophy. Maybe it'll be easier to steal her trophy. Um, or you can buy her <laughs> at the awards night. But other than that, thank you so much for joining me, Bianca. Thank you so much, Kylie.